Alright, salutations to all of my gremlins who are watching today. Uh, today's vlog, I'm going to begin this introduction standing behind uh, one of the, like, the military vehicle deuce and a halves here. And I'm down here in, in the valley in Phoenix. And it's, it's actually an annual, what do you call it? military vehicle show. So they have this every once a year and where they have all like the vendors here and they pull out all the, the military vehicles. And this is actually really interesting to me. I love this. I'm having a great time here, to be honest. And I've always been one, I've always been an individual who was always into military vehicles. Like a lot more this year as opposed to last year for the vehicles here and I, I'm really having a, a great time in my life here. This is really great. They, I'm surprised because this year they have a lot more vehicles as opposed to last year. And this is great, so I'm gonna walk around and get some pictures and videos and footage of this. But this is great, so. See each and every one of you soon. with my GoPro at the same time I'm doing this and this is really interesting this is really one of a kind I guess they've got uh, all these like different vehicles here I, I don't know I'm looking into the screen of the lens of the GoPro and looking in this camera at the same time one of the tanks or, like the vehicles here I'm not quite sure what it is this is this is the front of it right here this will be standing in front of it here Wow, this is amazing. So I guess they've got some of the vehicles over here too. I'm not sure what, you know, they're all deuce and a halves. And, oh wow, we have actually got the back. Steps up there. We shouldn't put them up there. They don't want you to crawl up there. You want up there? No. I'm going. If they don't want the step. They didn't want me in here. They shouldn't have put the steps up here. This is actually one of the deuce and a halves right here. Really love this. The tires are actually really huge. If you see it he's right there, <laughs> it's great. I want to actually go inside of the back of this actually right here. So Let's see what they have. That's the front of it right there. Cameron. Take a picture of him in there. I'll take a picture of you in here, but look at if you stand beside the tire, it's taller than you are. Yeah. Turn around. This is the other vehicle here. It's got a 50 cal 50 caliber rifle on top of it mounted to it.
Alright, so they have actually quite a few aisles of the they have actually got quite a few aisles of uh, the military issued vehicles here. And they've got like at least a couple rows of it down here. And like so many of them here. Wow. These ones are insane. This is great. All those different those vehicles. These tires are huge. And these vehicles are really, really crazy. It's an awesome vehicle. I'm not sure what kind of vehicle that is, but definitely nice. With tools. Oh okay, it's so it's basically a, a cargo truck for tools and things but this is actually I'm not sure what this one is behind me I think this is a, a personnel carrier if I'm not mistaken but regardless this is really interesting huh? okay so they do have some tanks over here and this here is an old-fashioned like, vehicle right here. I'm really enjoying this a lot. Unless they've got a tank right here. Wow. The wheels are huge. So I'm standing right behind one of the old fashioned MASH Vietnam era like a hospital. It's like a, it's a ambulance. Ambulance vehicle. <laughs> Sorry, ambulance vehicle here. Wow, uh, that's great. This is the same truck that they had used in uh, one of those like TV shows if you ever watch a show called MASH. And this is like same identical thing here. Great. This is actually the back of it here. Medical ambulance. Alright, so this is the one of the deuce in the house that they have here. Right there and over here. Oh wow, this is great. Check this out. They've actually got a silhouette dummy in there. A mannequin. <laughs> and this is the other vehicle that's right here as you can see like behind me wow USQMC as you can see right there USQMC The other deuce and a half. It's you're right there. This is a great vehicle. Could you explain about the the history of it and how it had come to light for it? You said you had made it yourself, right? You modified it. Yeah, it's a, it's from a kit. 
Wolf kit. Built it on a Volkswagen chassis. Wow. It's a great vehicle. Love the uh, the rifle on top of there that's mounted to it. That's nice. The MG3. Looks like some sort of a, a tank over here. This is awesome. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, I used to own one of these. I'm sorry, I didn't. Bring, I never even thought to bring a camera. I'm so busy trying to get here without going to sleep. <laughs> I know what you mean. Early morning stuff is hard for me. <laughs> Vietnam era, old army medical truck, a medical vehicle. This is absolutely great. I love this. And this is like me standing right here. There it is here. Wow, that's an old cannon. That's incredible. It really, it truly is to preserve the liberties of our freedom and for us to uh, keep a clear consciousness, well, not only in that perspective, but at the same time to thank God and feel blessed to, well, actually be, practice gratitude every day and be blessed for what our soldiers in a war are uh, safeguarding and preserving as well as fighting for and risking their lives for our freedom and this is the absolute most important is to remind ourselves that we have the freedoms that we have in not only within the United States but well well yes in the United States it's for us to be grateful that we have soldiers that have served and that who had you know, that who had died serving, and those who are currently serving right now, and for for them to have go through the trouble, and to go through all this, the sacrifices and everything, and you know, to go through all that they have in order to safeguard our constitution and our liberties, and it, it is truly one of the most beautiful things, and and I, I appreciate it, and this is absolutely inspiring to me. And the freedoms that we have today, and what left that we have of it, we need to preserve it. And, and as a United States Patriot and a Constitutionalist myself, I could honestly to God say thank you for all of your services for active military and for veterans. And this is, this is absolutely great.